Hello everyone and welcome again to this amazing income live video series. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can use and incorporate Zoom with Ecamm and vice versa and how you can incorporate all those things that you now learn how to use. So if you are using Zoom as a main platform, you can now use Ecamm to create your uh, presentation and then present it in Zoom. If you are using Ecamm as your main source, now you can bring your calls into Ecamm and broadcast them live on YouTube, Facebook, and other places that you want to do it. You can do all those things, and this video is going to show you how to do that. If you haven't watched the videos, the previous videos have created in this series, you can watch them, the link's below, and also you can watch this link right here for video number nine. So let's start now. All right, so we are here. And one of the main things I want to mention before I start explaining how you can start using Ecamm Live with Zoom is that many people have complained about all the different issues when you're trying to share something from Ecamm into Zoom or vice versa. So Ecamm worked really hard to make these things possible. And one of those things were the uh, interview panel that of course Ecamm incorporated this new thing into the pro version of it that you can uh, check it out, the link right here. And also you can now use Ecamm Live as the main source when you have a call on Zoom to incorporate that and then broadcast that live on different platforms. So let's start now working on the different things that you can do. One of the first things that you need to understand is how to start using what it's called the sharp uh, window mode and the uh, virtual camera. Those two things are going to allow you to use uh, Ecamm and Zoom together. So in this opportunity list, first of all, let me first uh, incorporate what is called the uh, sharing window mode. If I click here, and remember, this is only for the uh, Pro version. Once you activate the sharing window mode, you have this option right here, where it's uh, telling you that the sharing window mode is now active. The same thing with the virtual cam. Now you have this option available right here. So let's go one by one, that way you can understand how everything works. It's uh, if the uh, virtual camera is not installed in your computer, you can install it when you first start Ecamm. So uh, it'll give you the option right here to install it and you just click install and it'll do the process and you're ready to go. So now let's go with the uh, sharing window mode. When you have the sharing window mode, and let's say, for example, you have your presentation ready to go, right? And then you want to use Zoom as the main source. Let's say, for example, you have a group of people, right? And you're doing a presentation to your uh, employees or to your co-workers. In general, you need to use only Zoom. So let's say you are the one using Ecamm in this occasion, and you have a presentation, an amazing presentation, ready to go, and you want to look sharp and you want to look professional. So you create all your different scenes. Uh, let's say I have created different scenes right now. And uh, all these different scenes are ready to go. So let's now go into uh, Zoom. Right now I'm here in Zoom. And this is just the basic uh, setup. In order for you to bring what it's right now on Ecamm, you just need to come here to short screen and select here. And you will see this option available, which is the Ecamm Live sharing window. You're going to click here and click share. Make sure you are, are clicking these two options, the share computer sound and the optimized screen share for win video clip. Now, that being said, I'm going to share this, showing me the green border that is telling me that this part is now being shared. So whoever is having a Zoom call, you, they are going to be able to see this option. So um, Right here, now you can switch to videos and you can see to whatever you are doing. Let's say you're presenting and you have uh, your PMP option available. You can keep talking and they're going to be listening to you because now you are sharing this option right here. And that option can replace also the virtual camera in case you don't want to use the virtual camera or it's not working. So this can be another option for you to start using Ecamm as the uh, platform to create all these scenes and all your presentation, but soon to be the main platform that you are using to share that information with the people out there. So that is option number one. Now let's go for option number two, which is using the virtual camera option. 
I'm going to cancel this out. So I'm going to uh, turn this off. And now I'm going to turn the uh, virtual camera on. Now you have the virtual camera on in Ecamm Live. Now let's go back to Zoom, the Zoom application. And this is what you're going to do. In order for you to access the virtual camera that are now active in Ecamm Live, you come here and you see all the different options that you have right here for cameras, right? Now you can access it here. You can also access it by going into video uh, settings and going into the list of different cameras available for you to pick in, this, in uh, the Zoom application. And then you can just select to enable HD and also to uh, have a widescreen, which is the 69 option. So I'm going to select my virtual camera and I'm going to close this out and boom, now I'm seeing in real time what's happening on Ecamm is happening right here in Zoom. If you can see the quality, how good this thing looks because I'm using a real good camera, which is a DSLR. And that's one of the best recommendations I'm going to make to you. If you want to use the virtual camera option on Ecamm, I really recommend that you use a really good camera in order for you to have a very good quality video. So um, I encourage you to do that. Check this video right here where it shows you the uh, 10 best cameras that you can purchase. And maybe one of those uh, cameras can fit your budget and your needs. So check it out. The good thing about having this option available is that you are going to have a better quality representation when you are using Zoom as the main platform. The good thing about this is now you can bring everything that you have prepared previously in Ecamm with the scenes, the overlays, the text, the animations, videos, and everything that you want to share on Ecamm from Ecamm to Zoom, now you can do it using this option. And the good thing about this is the quality now that you're having on Zoom. So let's say, for example, if I want to start switching things using my Stream Deck from Elgato, now I can do and check the quality of this because now I'm using the virtual camera, which is kind of if I'm in Ecamm, but now I'm in Zoom. So you can have a presentation and everything is looking sharp, everything is looking professional, everything is looking real good. So um, that is the second option, how you can use Ecamm with uh, Zoom and I start putting everything together to make it look very good. Now the third option, I'm going to get rid of this first. I'm going to turn this off. Now the third option is to use Ecamm as the main platform. You can bring now the Zoom calls into Ecamm to broadcast them live and live stream with them using platforms like Facebook or like YouTube. Let's say, for example, you're interviewing a group of people. You have exceeded the number of people who is going to be in the interview. Normally, this panel right here allows you up to four people. But let's say you have more than that and you don't want to use this option. Now you can bring Zoom into Ecamm and then going into, uh, let's say, Facebook or uh, YouTube, for example, like I mentioned before. So you can do that by coming here and I have prepared this for you. First of all, make sure that when you're bringing everything from Zoom, it's just the call. And uh, you have this selected, if you have been using the virtual camera, you have this selected that from your, uh, from your camera. So in order to do that, I'm going to bring this right here and I'm going to make sure, of course, the virtual camera is not longer selected. So I'm going to select my uh, DSLR camera, the one that is coming from, uh, from my uh, DSLR. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new scene and I'm going to call this Zoom Call. And I'm going to just put it right here at the bottom. Once I have created this uh, new scene, and I'm going to come here into this menu and I'm going to select the option that is giving me to share the Zoom application. So I'm going to click there. And now I'm sharing from Zoom into Ecamm. And now I'm using Ecamm as the main platform. Now that I'm using Ecamm as the main platform, of course, I'm no longer can use this because now I'm bringing everything from Zoom. So whatever I do in Zoom, now I can see it on Ecamm. And from here, I can go now live into uh, YouTube or Facebook or any platform that you want to use. So this is the third option, how you can start now incorporating Zoom and Ecamm all together. First of all, now you can share everything from Ecamm into Zoom. If you have a presentation, you can do that. Now you can also use the virtual camera to bring the same thing and then bring a Zoom call into Ecamm to live stream it online on YouTube or Facebook. And now you can interact in different ways 
having a better, better way for you to start presenting and using those two platforms all together and not having the same issues that we were having before. Now, Ecamm has incorporated new stuff for us to have a better experience while using Zoom and Ecamm together. All right, guys, so I hope you have enjoyed it, this video and this is going to be the last video of this video series. I'm going to be producing some other videos showing uh, different things or different aspects on how you can keep using Ecamm better and becoming a better uh, presenter while using the application. So I hope you have enjoyed it. All these different videos I have created for you and the different things I have explained so far and how to use the scenes, the overlays, the audio panels, all the different organizations, the preferences. And now this, how you can start incorporating Zoom and Ecamm all together. So I hope you have enjoyed it, all this and thank you very much. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep asking me all the questions. I'll be uh, happy to answer all of them and help you out while you're doing a better presentations every time. I'll see you next time and thank you again for watching this channel.